in. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can find something under. This is a. This is. Uh, these are dog leads. Shall we? Let's get a level on here. Ah, uh, good. Oh, good. No, oh, that's not going to be a level, is it? I wonder if I can put that underneath there. How's that? Okay, yes. Yes, get a thing. Oh, I've got a howling gale coming through that um, gun um, opening, gun slot. Well, anyway, good morning. We have you. And we're, I think we're wobbling still, aren't we? Yeah. Um, welcome to the. Uh, welcome to the. Um, the lockdown. I've come out this morning for my walk, my daily walk. I get it out in the morning sometimes. Yesterday I went out in the evening, today, and I've made it down to here, which is quite nice. But I want to say something, right, okay, for this lockdown. This is the nearest thing I've, I've had to a proper holiday <laughs> in God knows how many years, over 10 years. Um, absolutely been marvellous. Sun's been shining. I've been going out for walk, uh, one nice walk, long walk a day, um, not having to see anybody, which is quite nice. Keep in touch with my family and everything like that, my close family. That's great. We're all sort of like keeping right on top of each other. And um, we're basically getting on with some small little jobs around the house, recording some music, writing and recording music. We've got three songs on the go, my wife and myself at the moment. Because we, we do have a band. Um, it's been put on hiatus at the moment because of, of you know, not only that, but other reasons. But um, it's been nice to sort of get back and get into the, because I've got a little recording studio at home. It's not anything fancy. Don't think I've got a fancy recording studio. I've got bits and pieces that I can put down some, you know, sort of like demos sort of thing. And we've been making tracks up, which is good fun. And... My wife and myself have been getting on like a bloody house on fire, literally, like, which is really, really good because we've got some time to spend together. And you realise that basically a normal day-to-day -day life <laughs> pre-lockdown, you know, it, everything was 24-7 and everything was so stressed and everything was so sort of like, Ugh. and now we've been forced, like, had to shut both companies that we run down and um, we've been forced to sort of like stop, suddenly realise, fucking hell, that's better, isn't it? That's a lot better. <laughs> that's quite nice. And um, to have time. I haven't even been watching Netflix or anything like that. I can't watch Netflix. It's, oh, God, it's so woke all those little there's all these little niggles and things like that in there like you know can't watch the news BBC news all the news programs all the mainstream news programs they say so much but they give you so little information you know it's all there to sort of like cause emotive sort of like um, reaction and not actually inform you so you know it's don't think and, and today is is as Bloody Baltic, that wind coming through that, that thing and my hair is blowing in the breeze, it's, it's utterly Baltic. It's really, really fresh. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so the news is absolutely worth, worthless watching, you know. And, and on social media, I've seen quite a few um, videos of people sort of like, um, or women, actually, like, you know, um, saying about how they've lost loved ones close to them and everything like that, and like, they're in the depth of grief. But I don't know about you, but if I was in the depth of grief, the last thing I want we wanted to do was make a YouTube video. Yeah, and you know, I think you want to keep it private, really. So um, I think either these people are paid actors or there's something wrong with them. You know, and uh, I'm not a, you know, thing, but if, uh, my advice to you is if you get, you know, if you see these things come up and like the Chinese cooking dogs and things like that, don't watch them. Block them. Because it's just sort of like, A, 
we're setting up, they're building us up for a war with China or something like that because they're trying to dehumanise the Chinese. I mean, mind you, um, hey. and um, you know, and don't listen to the news. I don't think actually, to be quite honest, because and just get on with your lives as best you can, and keep your clo- clo- your loved ones close by, even if it's only by sort of like virtual, sort of like um, through the through the computer, through the internet. But you can do that as long as we've got the internet. Boris has. Covid nineteen apparently, um, he didn't look very well. To be quite honest, he looked pretty fucking rough. So, well, you know, I don't want I don't want to wish any illness on anybody, like you know. And I I hope he gets better, like you know, because I mean I wouldn't fancy his job, would you? Be honest, would anybody fancy his job? No. Yeah, you know. So um, <laughs> I don't know if he fancies his job. <laughs> I did read something about the um, the testing for um, coronavirus. Like, you know, it's basically the tests are very blunt. They're unfocused. And insofar as if you've got a cold, which is a cor- cor- you know, the coronavirus, you will test positive, po- positive for coronavirus. So the, you can't actually use their numbers and their figures to say exactly who's got COVID-19. Because the test that they give you is not a specific test for COVID-19. Which is, um, God, listen to that wind. That is coming from the Baltic as well. Yeah, that COVID-19, um, you know, test. But the antibody test, now that is the one that's going to do, do it. Because if you've got the antibodies, then you can get out and get on with your life again. And, you know, so once that comes in, I think that just will free everybody up. But right at this moment in time, I'm enjoying it. Stay safe, you yeah. know. Um, I did do a video the other day that ended up on the BBC News and it did end up on the BBC News and all sorts of news networks, which is brilliant. It went absolutely ballistic with this video. And then my counter on Twitter, (laughs) not on Twitter, on on YouTube, (laughs) tells me that I've only had 200 views. And I'm thinking, well, this video that I've made has been, it's been on loads of news programmes. It's been used by, it's been, used in newspapers it's been used by things like that and yet yeah, my my YouTube counter tells me that <laughs> I've had 200 odd views well done YouTube you bullshit <laughs> anyway so don't worry about how many views this thing this piece probably says it's only got 9 or 10 views or anything like that it's got a lot more views than that alright then so take care people stay safe um, and Enjoy this bit of space, because it won't last forever. Love ya.